Alrighty, guys and gals, what is going on, all you beautiful people? Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel, and welcome back to Cities Skylines. This is episode number two. The first episode, we uh, got the beginnings of a little town happening right here, as you can see. I've not named the town. Not done a whole lot with it. We got. Uh, we just have a little neighborhood happening. We put in a coal power plant right there. Got some. Uh, we got some industry down here. We've got some water facilities. We've got some power facilities, and we did reach a population of 420 people, which uh, let us unlock a couple of services. And we'll have to jump on that right away. We're going to have to get some garbage, some waste management. Uh, facility, a service in our community. Uh, we'll have to get some health clinics and we'll have to get some schools put in. So let's jump back in. Let's see. So I see people, I see some flashing icons here. So this means uh, traffic, or traffic, uh, garbage is starting to pile up. So let me, uh, let me pause it. Look at the people flowing in here. Dun, 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 dun. Also, I'm going to redo our little inlet right here. Um... I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to keep the um, these big industry trucks from rolling through the neighborhood. I might not be able to do it this episode, but uh, anyway, we've got a huge demand for some more uh, industry, a little bit of demand for some uh, commercial zone, and a little bit of residential. But first things first, uh, we need to get. So we have to make a choice here to go with a recycling center or a landfill. Now, the thing about a landfill, I, I don't know if you can see there at the bottom left, the, the capacity, what is that, 8 million? I don't know what that amounts to, but basically it takes a long, long time for the landfill to fill up. The problem is once you place a landfill in your town or your city, it has to stay there. And if you want to move it, you have to empty it. And it takes a long time to empty it. Conversely, uh, also, what does this cost? This cost, uh, it's only $4,000 to place and it's only $160 a week to upkeep. This, look at the cost of this. It's $16,000. <laughs> uh, four times as much. Uh, but the upkeep is, uh, that's actually more too. However, the pollution is only 25 The noise pollution is 10 uh, for, and the pollution for the landfill is 100, so it's a lot of pollution. Problem is the capacity on this, this will actually generate electricity for us, um, but it puts out 15 garbage trucks. This has 15 garbage trucks. I don't really, I know from experience, I've placed these before. These aren't as efficient as the landfill, but I think we're going to have to go for a landfill initially. Um, and I got to figure out a place to put it. I don't want to put it too close to the water. Um, I might be able to put it down here. Let's actually do that. Wait, if I put it down here, I've got to think about access to the road here. I think what I need to do is make a little cut through right here. Is that going to create a problem? Actually, what I can do is this. Let me upgrade this road. I'm going to upgrade this road to two-way. Hold on. Hold on. I got to think about this. If I do that, that will allow the garbage trucks to come out here. So if I place the landfill, it will allow the garbage trucks to come out take a left-hand turn and they can roll this way. I just need to switch that one as well. I want to keep this one one way. That's That'll work. Uh, this actually needs to be one way. Like that. Okay. I think that'll work. So let's place our landfill. And if I unpause this, what you'll see, we should start to see garbage trucks uh, rolling at it. Oh, wait. Is it going to need electricity? 
So there goes a garbage truck. I don't think it needs electricity. Or water. Yeah. So he's rolling out. He's going to do his job. What I need to do... Let me pause this. I also need a road... Let's connect... Is this lined up? Well, it is lined up. Let's do this. Let's connect these roads. That's a straight shot in. And I'll run some water here because I'm going to start building that area. So that garbage needs are taken care of. We need to get a clinic and a school in. So i got to think about where we want to put that. And how are we doing here? I think we just got lucky. I think the pollution border is like right here. So this is our water inlet. And the, the river flows this way. So this is our raw sewage pouring into the... Uh, uh, you can see how disgusting the, the water looks here. We can eventually get some sewer treatment plants and correct that. But um, for right now. So as these garbage trucks roll past, you'll see these disappearing. So let's... Um, we got to extend our city. Or, or town, I should say. It's it's a town. It's not really a city yet. Dun, 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 dun. So let me think about how I want to do this. I think we're going to stick with this grid pattern for now. We're going to put a clinic. So I've got the clinic building, and when I place it, you see how it turns green. That shows me the range of what it can cover. So as long as it's kind of you know in the middle of town... We're, we're going to be fine. So let's see. We're going to place... We're going to place a clinic here. And everybody's happy, or they are happier. We also need an elementary school. Let's place it right across. Hmm. Doesn't actually have very, very good coverage. Why isn't that road covered? It's a little odd. Interesting. I wonder if I connect. Hold on. If I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to evict some people here. If I connect these two roads, that will fill back in, and then I place the uh, the school back down. It's a little better. All right. I think we're gonna do this before this guy gets uh, built here. Boom. School. So I can't place a high school yet. Um. I think we've got to reach a milestone for that. So that is our services taken care of. Let me make sure how we do on electricity. We're still fine. This is operating fine. Uh, we're only consuming 13 megawatts and we're producing 40. This will slowly go up as we get more people and businesses. And what's our water looking like? Water is fine. Uh, so let's get some, uh, <clears throat> let's put some more commercial zone in here. Let's see. We're going to put. Throw a couple of stores in here. Let's actually make this whole little section right here, like little corner stores. That's what you see in real life on the corners is how I usually see them. And we'll put some on this side of the road as well. Dun, 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 dun. Let's do some more houses. So let's be proactive. I'll run this up. That should be covered. And we'll go down this way as well. Again, I'm placing my water pipes under the streets, under the roads. That's how it generally is in real life. I want to keep it that way. Okay. Let's, gonna, let's put some... We'll start filling in this area. Let's just do that. It's a whole bunch of houses right there. A little bit of demand for some more industry. I guess we could put a couple more here. We'll put some on that side, and we'll put some here. Yeah, so the goal of this Let's Play, I want to try. We're starting from humble beginnings, and we're going to try to reach a population of 1 million. I don't think I've ever done that in this game, and I have a lot of hours in this game over the years. Uh, and we are playing vanilla, no mods, no add-ons. 
Um, yeah. Let's see. We can let's do we let's rename our town here. What do we want to rename this? Um, I asked in the first episode if anybody had any good ideas about buildings or anything. I'm not sure how it was received because this is the same day and these are two weeks apart. So if anybody left any comments, I haven't seen them yet. <laughs> So if this uh, if this gains any traction and people seem to enjoy it, um, what I might do is I might make it more frequent, maybe uh, two or three times a week or so. I don't know, maybe every day. I don't know. It depends on how how much it's like. But uh, let's see. What are we going to name this? Um, we're going to name this. We'll name it Misty Mountain. Good typing. Uh, Misty Mountain. Misty Mountain Valley. Sure. We'll do that. So we can see, we can look at what's going on with our city. Right now we have a population of uh, about 750. There's 134 uh, toddlers. We got some teens. We got some young adults. Adults. And we got some seniors. So uh, people, people grow up. They go to school. Well, if you have resources, they go to school. If not, they stay uneducated. Oh, I love listening to the little commercials they have. But anyway, uh, and then, you know, people get adults and then seniors and people actually, they will perish. So you do need death care for your town and your city, which is usually the form of a graveyard or crematorium. I kind of like the graveyard feel. Um, got kind of a thing about graveyards. Some of my viewers may know that, some may not. But uh, it's not quite an obsession. It's just a morbid curiosity. I don't know what it is, but uh, we're going to we're gonna go with graveyards initially. They do take up a lot of space, but um, small town like this. So let's see what new buildings we got over here. Let's go street level. We got some burger joints, quiet corner shop. That's a neighborhood shop, it says. What do we got here? Why aren't these named? Looks like a donut shop to me. You can rename anything. Individual cars. You can look at the cars. You can see who it belongs to. If you see somebody walking like this dude here, this is Charles Ward, I could rename him. He's unemployed. Who knows what shady shit he was up to. <laughs> but uh, you can get really, really detailed. You can rename all of the streets. You can basically do whatever you want with the game. So it looks like, let's see, what is our next milestone going to be? Uh, I don't know how, oh, right here. We're pretty close. Oh, we're really close. So our next milestone, we'll be able to unlock a new area. We'll get districts, policies. So you can uh, set little districts, portions of your town, where you can sort of outline, and then you can create specific poli policies for those uh, districts. We'll have uh, fire, police, and we can get unique buildings. And then we can also get industry specialization. This is kind of big. So there's a lot of forest, these trees. We can convert this to uh, forestry uh, and it'll be a lot greener, a lot cleaner. You can see it says it slightly uh, increases electricity consumption, slightly increases tax income, and it requires forest, which we have. But this will be, uh, that'll be good for us and we are almost there. So let's actually throw some more houses in here. See if we can get this rock in here. Uh, 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 uh. So let's see. Let's build. Let's build on this side of the road here. Go. Is that one, two, three, four? So in this game, a four by four block is the biggest house that you can have. But there's you can mix it up. You can go like this, this, this. Uh, oops. Get rid of that. You can do one block. You can do three, a couple of different things, and it'll give you different sizes and style of houses. Uh, and I have played that way before, but I kind of like just throwing them in like this. This is how you often see neighborhoods, right? <laughs> Unless it's a really special, specific kind of neighborhood. Oh, this look at this big boulder here. But it, it's uh, it's pretty mixed up, and the mods for this game are unbelievable. You can have. You can get mods for this game where your houses will look uh, like mansions. You could get the slums, uh, European-style houses. Uh, it's crazy, the mods people have made for this game. It's really, really cool, actually. Again, we are playing vanilla. So, uh, how's this working out? This is working pretty well. 
It's not working out too bad here. And stoplights are a thing. So let's see what I can look at. Uh, okay, we're good to go here. That's in the green. That's fine. Water looks fine. Electricity is fine. People are they're, they're doing okay. Our health care, it's not too bad. We have two... Oh, we just hit it. That's a milestone reach. So that means let's pause... Because as soon as you hit a milestone, people are going to start wanting the new services that you're able to put in, um, which is the uh, fire department and the police department. So how are we doing on money? Yeah, we're doing really well. We're making 1800 bucks a week, approximately. So let's see. We're going to throw in... The first thing we need to do, I like to get my fire department in first because they're fires can happen and they can spread from building to building. And if you don't have a fire department, you'll have a whole section of your town burned down. So I like to place the fire department sort of in between the residential and the commercial without being too close. I don't want to get these guys sick. So we're going to throw that in and they're going to want some police to take care of crime. And I like to have the police just sort of in center of town, usually over near the school or something. Let's put it... Um, Let's see, where do I want it? I think I'm actually going to put it here. Let's see how that works out. And can we get a high school yet? High school. Oh, we can't. We need 1,300 people to get the high school. So, all right. So back to what we were doing. Let's unpause that. We'll let this roll a little bit. Let those things fill in. Uh, 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 uh. Traffic flow is looking pretty damn good. So any place that's red... Uh, or orange, the more red it gets, it just means there's a, that's where the most traffic situation is. Right now, we have no traffic, so we're perfectly fine. Ground pollution, this is what I want to look at. So we got lucky here. This is far enough away that we're not sucking up dirty water for our people. But you see how disgusting it is. And there's our raw sewage. Uh, the noise level. So the, the, the more red it is, obviously, the higher the noise pollution. Commercial zones also... Uh, produce noise, but people generally deal with it okay. It's just you can't have close houses too close here. People will actually get sick from noise pollution. Let's look at our crime. None. We have zero detained criminals. We have a capacity of 20. Uh, 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 what do we got here? This is our outside connection. So this is import and export type of stuff. And this is forestry. So uh, what we're going to do as I continue this... Um, Industrial, we're going to convert this. I'm probably going to convert this whole thing. I'm going to try to convert it to a forest industry instead of generic. It'll be a lot cleaner. All right. We've got a high, high demand for uh, residential. So let's throw some more of that in. I should build out this way. Dun, 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 dun. So let's see. What are we going to do here? I need to make a cross street probably. Let's put a little cross street in here. Uh, I don't like to have my intersections too close together. It's not a good practice in real life either. It just creates a lot of unnecessary stops and traffic. So let's throw in some houses. This whole block, let's fill in. We'll get some on this side as well. And we'll get some here. I don't like to zone over this because in the future I'm going to build a road. It doesn't really matter down here because I'm not going to extend this way. Well, I probably am, but not right now. Let's see if we're going to be covered electricity-wise. Yeah, we're still looking good there. And water, we're already covered, so good to go. Got a little more demand for some um, commercial. Let's see. Let's put... We'll put some more commercial. Uh, we'll put it in here. See what that gives us. It's going to be mixed up, mixed mashed a little bit there. Interesting. We'll put a shop here. Dun, dun, dun. Let's put a couple up here. Put them right on the corner. Some corner stores for these people. Maybe a 7-Eleven or a Hasty Mart. I don't know. <laughs> dun, dun. Looking okay. Not looking too bad. A 
yeah, it's a lot of lot you can do with this game. Like I said, I've got lots and lots of hours uh, with it. Um, some of my mods, it, it basically unlocks everything, and you don't have to worry about money. And you can just build. You can go nuts designing roads, towns. You can um, all kinds of things you can do. You can make uh, like waterfalls. You can build up the land and add a water source, and you can create water falls and parks, all kinds of stuff. So, and so, like I said, initially, uh, well, this town is probably going to remain these smallish roads, but we will unlock larger roads, which increases the speed limits. Uh, the smaller the road, the less um, the speed limit is on it, which makes sense. So, these smaller roads through residential areas, it's a lot. Uh, you can't drive as fast. If you up, uh, if you upgrade the road to like three lane, or you can have four lanes to each side with a medium in the middle, the speed limit increases a little bit. You generally don't want those through your the heart of your town. All right. Uh, eh, 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 eh. Everything's sort of flattening out. It's kind of a you know, it's a medium demand. So I don't like to build too quickly it's good to let your city sort of even out just because you've got like a small demand doesn't mean you have to start throwing stuff down i like to take a little bit of time and let things balance out but it is also nice to hit those other milestones we're making good money so that's nice so i gotta think about how we're gonna how we're gonna expand here because we are gonna unlock another tile can we already get it oh we can i can purchase another tile that's right i have to figure out which way i want to go here this actually might be cool to build on this island, but I'd have to unlock here and then over here. But I think my plan, I think I'm going to go up. Uh, we're going to have, this is going to get be our bigger city up through this way. It'll also give me access to this railroad, and I do want that. So probably convert this, keep this small pocket here and see if I can get it, change it to uh, forestry. Um... And then eventually we can, our power, we can get other options. We can get cleaner options. You can have a hydropower plant, which is a dam that uses the water. The solar power plant is awesome. Uh, it's basically no pollution. It produces a ton of energy, but um, we need a population of 20,000. It's pretty expensive to buy it, but that's eventually where, where I want to go. So, uh, as far as tile unlock, actually, I don't need to purchase it right now. So, let's just wait because we have plenty of room to work with here. So, we're going to expand our city. We're going to roll up here. Probably, uh, we'll have a little block here. We'll keep rolling this way. And then what I'll do is I'll create like another neighborhood. We'll get that vibe, like two different neighborhood type of vibes. And this will lead maybe into it. This main drag will probably end up coming up through here. I'll purchase this, and then our bigger city will be up here, and we'll have, like, the smaller towns out here. So let's see if we can keep that in mind. And let's expand a little bit. Let's connect that. I'll connect this. And in future uh, neighborhoods, I'll try to get a little bit more organic, not so blocky like this. But um, it is easy to build. Uh when it's this grid type of pattern. And let's make some crossovers here and there. And do we want something? We might as well come across here. Mix it up a little bit, I suppose. All right. Uh, let's lay some water pipes. Let's get that happening. Let's take this up. Um, that's fine. doesn't have to be exact. That actually provides plenty of coverage. Good to go. Doing on power is fine. Water availability is still fine. All right. So now that I can do the specializations, the problem is if I specialize now, it'll convert these buildings. They'll despawn. The people will lose their jobs. It's kind of, uh, it's not the best. Let me see if I can remember how to do this. So what we're going to do. So I'm painting this district. I'm going to paint this whole area, and I'm going to specialize it to uh, forestry to see if we can make this a little bit greener here. So I think I do that. 
commercial forestry. So this may be not the best idea to do that. So these buildings are going to disappear and then they're going to come back. And we do have a demand, so it should be okay. And I can actually plant trees. Um, can I do that yet? Well, I can't do it. I need 1,300 people. But uh, it'll use the surrounding trees. I think I may have messed up. So what we're going to do, let's build our roads out here. And we'll, get, we'll, use, we'll use the trees here as well. So now that it's I have it zoned, when I put buildings in here, it will automatically uh, they will automatically go to the forestry. They'll build up as forestry instead of generic, and it'll be a hell of a lot cleaner. So eventually all this pollution will disappear now that we've specialized a little bit greener. Only problem is this factory right here is still kind of a pain. Let me actually get rid of this. I'm gonna I need that building to stay. I'm gonna D spawn some of this stuff to give this stuff a chance to grow over here. Are we covered for water? Let's expand. Make sure our water is covered. Electricity should be fine. Okay. Oh, we're actually connected here. So see how we're connected? That means um, I can get rid of these power lines because of the way the electricity jumps. I do like that about this game. If that were to disappear, that would be a problem, but it looks like it's fine. <laughs> so the res sees, so I didn't put any new houses and the residential has gone down. So I, like I said, if you give it a chance, it'll sort of even out. We do have a, some demand for commercial, but let's see how this works out. So see how this is a lot greener. Like they put their own tree farms in. This is Woody's wood. <laughs> He's got plenty of people working there. Foresty friends. And you can rename all this stuff if you want. It sort of reminds me of the time I was out by the lake enjoying the sun and the trees, and I was in such a good mood that I pulled out my phone and listened to the very track we just heard. Didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, some of it's hilarious, but um the voice acting for the commercials is really good. And depending on the station you're listening to, it'll have a different voice actor in there. They're pretty hilarious. I hope the music level is okay. It's always louder. What I hear is always louder than what you guys hear. So if it's if I feel like it's too loud and I turn it down, for me it sounds okay, but for you guys might barely hear it. So hopefully it's okay. Anyway, we have absolutely no demand for uh, residential. So let's lay down some more commercial. Let's see. Let's put a little pocket up here. Yeah, let's do um let's do a little we'll do a block here. Uh no. Uh no. Let's see. I'm going to go Is that 4? It is 4. So let's do that and then 4 this way. Let's do that. Some corner stores. I like the corner stores. You can't just make whole sections of commercial, but I this is kind of how it is in life, right? I mean, yeah, you can go downtown and it's nothing but shops, and maybe we'll do that here. Maybe we'll make a downtown area. Uh, that'll be especially nice when we can unlock offices because we'll mix office with commercial. So that'll be my plan, actually. We'll try to, we might take this as a main street or this, we actually might extend this road, not extend it, but expand it, make it a, a broader road like, um, Two lanes one way, two lanes the other way with a nice grassy medium in the middle when we can. Let's see if we can unlock that road. Do we already have it? We have this one. Don't have it unlocked yet. This is what I want. The four... Oh, boy. We need 4,600 people to get that. I like this style of road, though. But that's good for a, like, downtown. So, um, I'm gonna actually... Let's see. Let's extend out. Let's see if I can keep in mind. If I choose the bigger road now... So this will be our downtown area eventually. And I'll put the road so I remind myself to do that. And then we'll have some offices. Maybe we'll put some parks in. You do unlock parks when we hit 1300. Not too far away. We're not too far away. Why are we minus two people here? <laughs> are people leaving? I don't know what's going on. How's our, how's our area doing over here? It's looking pretty, uh, pretty sparse. But it'll, it'll slowly build up. Yeah, it'll slowly build up. 
Let me throw... I'm just going to... Actually, you know what? Let's not do that. I, w I need to keep it a little away from this damn power plant because it causes pollution, which kills the trees. Um, what's going on here? I'm just going to leave it. I don't want to mess up the electricity right now. It looks like it's fine. Okay. Uh, a little bit distracted. So residential is growing a little. Let me check, make sure electricity is still fine. Water is still great. How's our garbage processing? Absolutely fine. Okay. So let's fill in some more houses. Demand has gone up a little bit. We'll build uh, We'll build in here. Let's see. We'll put, uh, we'll put a couple of houses here. Put a couple on this side. We'll fill this area in. May as well fill this area in. Not going to go crazy. We'll put two more stores here. A little space there. See what we get. So stoplights are a thing. Uh, I just can't actually see them yet. Can I? Junctions? Oh, I can see them. So these larger roads will put stoplights in automatically. Oh, let me get out of that. Um, go back. And you can turn these on or off. You have complete control. You can make it however you want. For now, I'm just going to leave the stoplight. But once your city starts getting really big and you've got these bigger roads, this can cause problems because the way the game... The game will put a damn stoplight every single intersection when you have a large light, and sometimes it's not needed. You know, you just have stop on each side, and you create your own right of ways. But uh, these smaller roads, fortunately, I mean, we actually do need stop signs in here. Like, but traffic isn't uh, a problem right now. Let me make sure. Let's look at it. So if you take this view, once the city starts growing, you'll notice like some intersections will be red, traffic will start jamming, backing up, and you'll have to sort of go in. But for now, I'm just going to leave this the roads open. People, the AI just sort of handles it. You know, it's not too bad. Um, I do need to think about purchasing this tile though, and actually, I think I might do that. And the reason I might want to do that is so that we can have access. I'll, I can make a little intersection so that way trucks can roll right in and out and they don't have to roll through town. So let me, what am I doing here? How much is this to purchase? Five grand. Let's, um, well, I'll probably do that next episode. I think I will purchase this, uh, like I said, with the intention of creating my own, um, uh, what, I keep, what is the fucking name of these things? <laughs> Uh, intersections, sure. Roundabouts, intersection. Okay, yeah, just access to the highway, and with the with just the purpose of letting trucks have direct access, so they'll just basically roll right through here. They're not rolling all the way through town. It does create extra traffic, and it's much more efficient to get in and out that way. But uh, what are we? We're about a half an hour. I guess we can go ahead and call this here. Anyway, uh, yeah, let me know, guys, if you're enjoying this or not. Uh, I probably know by now based on the reception of the first episode. But honestly, this is a game I really enjoy. And I probably, I'm sure there'll be a handful of people who, you know, who might enjoy it. So um, we'll probably keep it on the channel. But I don't know. If you do have, if you do, if you are enjoying it, give it a, just give it a like. That way I know. You know, I can also go by views, but also if you have any ideas, if you if you want a building named after you, or you have any ideas, let me know. Leave a comment, and uh, we'll get a building name for you. I might do that anyway. I might look at my sub list, everybody that I'm able to see. Look at that. We just hit 1,300. It's a good place to call it. So let's see. What do we unlock? Landscaping. That's nice. Uh, we get parks and plaza. This is huge. Parks increases your the town... It's happiness. Your people, if you don't have enough things for them to do, they just go like, eh, and they can actually leave. You'll have abandoned buildings and stuff. So Parks and Plaza increases happiness. 
Uh, buildings can also level up and they look nicer, and that's what this is. We can have football stadium. We might throw a football stadium down there. Probably do that. They're very expensive, though. And then we can have policies for our specific areas of town if we want. We can have pet bans, smoking bans, uh, parks and recreation gives perks to the parks, all kinds of stuff. And this, we can have public transportation. We don't need public transportation right now, but we get that downtown area built up a little bit. We might have like make a little bus round, uh, bus run for people. Yeah. What else do we have? Yeah, so these are some of the parks. We can have a small park, a playground, plaza with picnic tables, carousel park, all kinds of good stuff we can jump into. Anyway, we are going to call it here. Let's do this. We'll have a little scenic view. All right. Well, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I appreciate it. Take care, and I'll see you in a future episode. Peace.